Google things to do before I die, and you'll see references to 100, 50, 101, 200, 1,000 things. Seems like people have at least dreamed about a lot of things to do before they die. There are books, websites, seminars, and coaching just for setting up these lists, and as many professions aimed at getting through them. One can be quite cavalier when establishing this list. Things like paragliding in the Andes shows up, swimming with whales, really? Setting foot on all seven continents is big, as is meeting influential people from frivolous to civilization changing. How are you doing on yours? Do you even have one? I'm a big advocate for visualization. The odds that we can find a way to accomplish something skyrocket when we write it down, draw pictures of it, see it, feel it, smell it, taste it, hear it in our minds. So let me introduce you to some friends of mine. John and Mark Hebe. You may notice that they are twins. They are both civil engineers and work for the same company. They finish each other's sentences, and there's one more thing. They get things done. They're Volkswagen fanatics. They use VW engines for their homemade airplanes, and several years ago they decided to build an historically accurate Volkswagen Beetle rally car. Now, Volkswagen did rally the Beetle in Europe quite successfully in the 1970s. So, reconstructing a car to these specs was an effort in finding the drawings and parts, fabricating parts they couldn't find, breaking parts, refabricating parts, etc. ad nauseum. They built the car, ran the car, broke the car. Rebuilt the car, ran the car, broke the car again. But every iteration kept getting stronger and stronger until this year they announced they were going to enter the Rally America classification in the World Rally Championship event in Lyon, Mexico in March. Not only that, but they would use the Beetle, now affectionately christened El Vocho, which is Spanish slang for Beetle, as the course opening car at the rally in the Hundred Acre Wood just two weeks prior. That rally ended on Saturday evening at 10 o'clock, and the twins loaded up El Vocho and headed south that very night. So how'd the boys do, do you want to know? Besides winning their class and coming in second overall in the Rally America classification, they were treated like rock stars, wined and dined along with all the world-class teams, and were probably the public relations entry of the event. VW Beetles have a certain notoriety in Mexico. Everywhere they drove, crowds chanted, Viva el Vocho! Viva el Vocho! So check one off the Hebe's bucket list, but el Vocho is also evidence that just putting it on a list is not enough. This checkoff took thousands of hours of work, of prep work, dozens of failures, many late nights with the welder, re-engineering parts that aren't made anymore, and the tenacity to get the parts, the team, and the car deep into Mexico, which, by the way, isn't a very friendly place right now. And while they certainly enjoy the trophies they've so deservedly won, it was the adventure that was the item on the list. You'll remember last year, after a 30-year hiatus, I drove a 72 Datsun 510, and competed against El Vocho and not able to keep up with it in the rally in the Hundred Acre Wood here in Missouri. Check another one off of my list. And this year, Zach and Kyle Williams, two brothers from Salem, Missouri, where the rally is held each February, who saw their first rally when they were just seven years old and nine years old, built a car, entered it, and finished the rally. They're hometown heroes now. Now, you may not be a rallyist, and cars may not even be your thing, but if you have a list, I urge you to pick one item on it, acquire a welder or whatever you need to begin the adventure, and get started. Life is short. I'm Kim DeMott, corporate co-driver, and this is another moment of clarity. Mm -hmm.